I'm so glad to be back here. Really nice, and I appreciate what you let me do just now. You let me play a lot of piano and sing some songs I haven't recorded. They're not familiar to you, probably, from my versions. Hi. Oh, is that a man? That's a mango lemonade. <sighs> Give me a big hug for that. You, you've given me this three times since I've been here? Oh, come on. Really? Where's your husband? You got a great gal, bro. She's a great gal. You are so sweet. And so beautiful, too. You lucky guy. Really lucky guy. Man. Does she, play, does she bring you drinks when you're sitting around at home? Uh, does she bring you drinks at work? Just, just you. My wife don't do that for me either. She gets her own damn drink. <laughs> my pop can get away with that. My pop can get away with that. He'll tell his wife, Lana, who's my stepmom, who I love very much. He'll say, Lana, would you make me a sandwich, please? And she'll do it. I, I could never do that to her. I could never ask my wife, like, Jill, could you? I just wanted to say you look beautiful to me. You really look so pretty. I'm going to make myself a sandwich. I can, I'm going to take one sip of this, because if I I, 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 I was just talking about, I passed that mango lemonade place, and I said, oh, man, I love those mango lemonades, but if I start drinking and I can't stop, and then I'm going to get a combination of really nauseous and crazy hyper, and then I'm gonna slip into a glycemic coma. That's really good. No, you wouldn't mind that. You, you wouldn't mind the first part, but the glycemic coma would be bad because I would just lay down until somebody came up and revived me like I'd be a doctor in the house. Thank you. Hi. How y'all doing? Thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you not filming the show. Uh, you take all the pictures you want. The filming ain't no good. And we on, it's like we're on a date. I feel like we're on a date. And, oh my God, you were here last night. I'm starting to think you're stalking me now. Give me another kiss. This is our fourth kiss. Thank you. Thank you. What is your name? I have to know. Okay. Okay, she said, take my time with it. Thank you for giving me permission to take my time to sign an autograph. So sweet and beautiful too. This is, oh, it's, oh I see. So she's written, so sweet and so beautiful too. Dear Tristeline. So I just signed my name to that. Actually, I agree with it. Thank you, Tristeline. Who smells of Listerine. She's got lovely breath. Uh, Tristeline, uh, although last night I was, I was reminded that she's That's come to three time. shows here and brought me a mango lemonade. Now I'm actually starting to think she's a little bit of a freak show. Because it's... <laughs> She's cheering. That's a compliment. Where I come from, if you call somebody a freak, it's a compliment. And the ultimate compliment is if you call them a high, powerful freak from Bourbon Street. If you're a high, powerful freak from Bourbon Street, you've made it. We've only known one or two. Lucian and I know a couple of high, powerful freaks from Bourbon Street. We even wrote a song about it. I'm not kidding you. I swear. It's called High Powerful Nuclear Freak. Hanging on a Bourbon Street. High Powerful Nuclear Freak. Now, why is it? That you guys are more enthusiastic about that than the last three songs we played. I'm playing my tail off with you. And now y'all get excited when I sing. Okay, and I'm just trying to, I'm trying to read you. I'm trying to read the crowd. I'm gonna have my one sip of this because I can't have more because it would make the show go into a different direction. I'm, I swear I could drink. You could put my my head under the spigot and I would drink the whole truck full of it. Have y'all tried that stuff, man? That stuff is that stuff is no joke.